Hello guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make hide and seek game in Roblox. So, we will use Roblox Studio to develop a hide and seek game. But before starting to developing our game, I want to show you how gonna look like in the end. So, the game concept is should have more than two players. But because now I'm alone, uh, the game is not starting. So, let's try to invite some friends i will invite all here the online players so i hope they will join to my game to show you the game and we will start to develop okay all right so someone joined so i will explain why i invite him all right so i explained them i will make a youtube video uh for tutorial hot and sick so and I will put them profile link in description so thanks if you follow them they really help me now to show you the game the game is starting now and it will choose a seeker let's see who will be a seeker oh me is a seeker so if you see now i press space and i want to move but i can't because the seeker will be freeze can't move but now you see it start the game and i will find them but i just made the seconds it's too low like around 10 seconds so it's really low i can't find them in this time but no problem this is just for test uh we can make it longer later so again <laughs> again me uh the seeker so they will hide and i will try to find them and you will see there's tokens and wins like they win uh this player three mna wins three time and the tokens 13 winner give 10 tokens so you see now he is or she is 14 so now the game it will start again All right, so someone else now is a seeker. So thanks for this good friend to help me make the video and also this new user. All right, so now we can start to develop our game. So thanks again for that users to helping me. So, and you will understand the game concept when we develop more let's open new base plate project select this and we can start to make our game we should change something on settings go to file and select game settings yeah we should first save our game to roblox give a name for your project okay i named hide and seek tutorial so click save all right and again go to file game settings go to security and here you see there is enable studio access to api services and enable that all right so first thing we can change for players is walk speed so let's open a script in server script services so we will script here all of the entire game so we can delete the sprint all right so write game dot players player added and connect here open a function and get player so we will work on player character again open a function this time get player character okay right character humanoid dot walk speed and we can give 35 so let's test is that working perfectly so run your game all right so you see it's walking fast so stop your game under server script service you see there is server storage so click on plus button and add a folder change the folder name to player data i love to before starting to coding to set up all this in explorer so we will do setup and we will move to coding so here 
inside player data open new folder again and rename to leader stats with this leader stats we will get the tokens and wins so here click on plus button again and write int int value rename this value to tokens again add int value and change value to wins also we can change tokens to points that will be better so and this player data add new bool value and name it is seeker and go to view open properties it should be by default false so make sure it is false by default all right so now we can close server storage and go to workspace click on plus button add string value and change the name to status also for map you can add any map on toolbox you can search for crossroads like i prefer to use this map also you saw on my game i used that that's good to me and inside this model delete on spawn location because we will add our spawn location so also delete the spawn location added by default we will add new one go to model and click on spawn you will see there's a spawn location and navigate this spawn location to your map anywhere you want so let's find a good place all right here is good to me we can navigate here and if you don't want to show the image and the part of spawn location select this spawn location go to view open properties make it transparency one and also scroll down make it can collide false also this image uh, inside spawn location and image also make this transparency one that's perfect all right so let's move to scripting now we will add some variables on top so first of all we should get the players from game get service dot players and also also we will get server storage equal to game server storage and also replicated storage also last one is status we already made in workspace so local status get it from game dot workspace dot status or also you can use wait for child status that will be better all right perfect so in next part we will continue to make the functions for adding players and set up the game player removing and others